I mean, the case against Glenn is, 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 is quite massive, really. Um, all sorts of stuff they picked up in his place, as I told you, you know, all, the, all the, other, the, other, the other names and pin numbers of people. And my, my concern is that I don't somehow become associated. Of course, yeah. I don't somehow get binned off. Very sharp. There, was one, there was one thing that you that you uh, mentioned in that meeting uh, that Tom passed on, yeah. and that you uh, reiterated again in your when you met with Tom yesterday that yeah. I need to clarify with you. Yeah. Uh, and that's this idea uh, that it's a foregone conclusion that you're going to be dismissed. Uh, well, maybe you, yeah. maybe you've kind of either forgotten or or you were doubtful about the meeting you and I had. Uh, you know, not long after all this blew up. Yeah. You know, where I I thought made it clear that that's not you know my intention at all. I know. Uh, but it's just, I just I just don't see how it's. It means a foregone for, foregone conclusion that you will be dismissed. I just don't see how it's. I, I can't sit here and make uh, predictions as to what's going to happen in the same way that you can't. Mm. And I can't tell you uh, with absolute 200% certainty uh, that this is how this, 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 this business is going to end. Yeah. But I can tell you that, you know, as the editor, what the intention is. And yeah. the intention is to give you every possible support through this process. You, you, you know, you my, my intention here hasn't changed uh, since, since this whole business started. My intention is to give you every possible support through this, and I, and I think we've demonstrated that by giving, you know, by, by, by making sure that Henry and now Kelsey Fry are there yeah, yeah, and yeah. for you and only for you. Uh, <coughs> and, and you know, I'm telling you now, uh, you know, as we get closer to the court date, that my absolute intention is to be able to say at the end of this uh, that you know that we're going to we're going to continue to employ you. That's right. Uh, but to get there, you know, I need to, and, and, and I think, as I think I explained to you. You know, when we met at that time in Cambo yeah. Rouge, is that to, to do yeah. that, I, I, you know, one way to do that, and I think the best way to do that is for me to be able to argue, in my view, genuinely, uh, that I have a duty of care over you, yeah. over what's happened here, and the, what, what led to this happening. Uh, and that's for you to mull over and decide as to whether or not you want to go down that route. You know, but I, I can only tell you what the truth is, and the truth is that we're not. You know, there is no plan here to dismiss you. Yeah, yeah. What's perfectly clear is that, you know, your career has been seriously affected by it. Yeah. And that your status has been affected, you've been suspended. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, all those things are, are, of course, true. And I think we both agree that going forward, you know, your, ro your, your role in terms of the royals yeah. uh, now becomes a very difficult one. I can't ever see myself leaving a message on Paddy Harlison's voice again. Well... <laughs> Well, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, but I mean, you know, that, that, that's perfectly clear. And that's a big deal, you know? That's a big deal. You're the royal editor of this newspaper, and, you know, and because of what's happened, that's, you know, that's, that now becomes a very difficult situation. Fine, I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll um, relay that through to Kelsey. We, there, there's nothing fixed in, in stone at all. It's, it's really just a, that's really just an initial meeting. Mm. And there's, there's another one coming this week after it's spoken to Morkea's uh, brief. Morkea is being um, very, very difficult, apparently. Do we know what his um, state of mind is? State of mind is and what his plan is. Um, I, I, what, all I know is through a third party. I've not spoken to Glenn directly. I tried to, um, but the, the approach was rebuffed. Glenn's a sort of rather sort of strange character who can get these sort of strange ideas in his head, um, yeah. even with it not for his benefit, to his benefit. Yeah. Um, he's, he feels quite badly done by it, which I understand is probably not the case. It's not being badly done by at all. Yeah. As it has happened. No, what well, they've found is they've found the voicemails and the um, and the pin numbers uh, yeah. of Mulcair's address. Yeah. There's one which sort of has a link to the nearest one. In that there's a um, a contract uh, with Greg when he was working up in the north. Right. With one of Glenn's aliases, Paul Williams. Right. Uh, for a Graham Taylor story. For a Graham Taylor story. Right. And Graham Taylor is one of the people who claims his phone was done. Sure. Uh, but there's nothing linking the fact that his phone, he claims his phone was done too. There's, there, you know, there's no sort of like forensic phone evidence that links all that together. Sure. So it's just, a, it's a fairly, it's an assumption, but it's a, you know, give, give them what, you know, give them what it does. Sure. And people might think it's fairly solid. But there are no, as I understand it, there are no new charges relating to those individuals. No. What they've done is make the charges relating to these offences. Well, we don't know that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, obviously, obviously that's, as we stand at the moment. We haven't actually had the indictment through yet, and 
so that doesn't mean we don't know what the charges could be. I mean, they, 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 you know, they may go this, they've got 21 days, I think, 28 days, uh, from, from the service of the case on the 25th of last month to produce the charges, produce the indictment.